Hey guys, what's up? Really quick, I just wanted to tell you that I had this cool sketchbook that I've been working on forever, and I finally posted it. It's sketches that I have posted nowhere else. It's specifically for people on this channel. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description. Okay, let's start the video. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna go over probably the most important thing ever, and that is how to draw anything. This was brought up uh, in a conversation uh, that I was having with uh, my patron member, Zoe. Uh, so the idea is, uh, when I start drawing something new for any project, I have no clue how to draw it. So if someone tells me to draw like a ferret or some strange animal or some strange item, uh, I've never drawn that before. So what I do is I do the process I'm going to show in this video and you can do it with anything, whether it be organic, whether it be inorganic, whatever it may be, you can do it. Uh, and so what I tend to do is break it up into simple shapes and I'm going to give you one major exercise here that you can do on your own that'll start getting you to think that way. Uh, so it's super important. Uh, goes without saying, stay all the way to the end of the video. Uh, and then before we get into the video, don't forget, subscribe. I'm going to be putting up videos once a week. And check out the goodies in the description. One other thing, definitely at the very end of the video, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if the exercise made sense. Uh, try it and let me know your results. Uh, I live to talk to you guys, so reach out. So when you're breaking down anything, uh, the cornerstone of drawing in general is breaking something down into simple shapes. And I've said that a hundred times. I'm sure you've heard everybody say it, um, but it is what it is. It's super important. And I think something nobody really talks about is kind of what shapes those should be. Those shapes are just a suggestion. They are principles, not rules. Uh, and I've said this a few times, a principle is something that says, this has worked and it's worked for the people, but you don't have to do it, right? It's not a rule. A rule says you have to do it, but a principle says it's a good idea. So I would say these are good ideas. So I'll give you the, the most generic example of them all. Drawing a head, you can either draw, uh, when you want to start a head, you can draw a circle for the cranial mass and then pull down into, you know, pull down that lower jaw a certain extent, maybe like a halfway down more. Or you can start with that, like an egg shape. And it's entirely up to you. These both work. I, I know artists that do both, uh, both of these. I do both of these uh, given my mood. So that's always gonna be up to you. So when someone says draw it this way, it's a suggestion and like, it's a pretty good one usually, depending on where they're at. So I'm gonna teach you an exercise uh, I used to do and I actually still do occasionally to learn simple shapes and break stuff down. So grab any magazine you have. Uh, you don't have to do this now, you can do this afterward. Grab any weird magazine and I'm gonna grab this random one from my mom. <laughs> I, I got this stuff. And um, so this is uh, an ad for something and their, their figure's broken up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm either gonna put a piece of tracing paper over this if you value the magazine, um, or if you don't, like I don't, uh, I am gonna just draw on it with, with a pen. Something dark, so it's really obvious. And so I'm gonna look at this woman here, and I'm looking at the figure of her pose standing. And I'm gonna to try to break this up. And this is for your own understanding. I wanna emphasize that. This is for you to understand uh, shapes that make up form. If you wanna break up the clothes she's wearing, go do that. I'm gonna break up uh, essentially just her frame. So let me start with a head right here. And I'm gonna start with circle for this cranial mass. And I'm gonna draw it in there and I'm not just gonna like wing it. I'm gonna draw it in there like pretty carefully. 
and, and try to think about what you're doing because uh, you don't want to just go through the motions and blah, 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 you know, just kind of go through it like just going to trace over it. You want to understand what you're doing. And then I'm going to draw the center line uh, right here in front of the head. So the center line, we always draw the center line uh, right there from the top of the head to the chin because, you know, you're... You know, you're, 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 you're the same on one side as the other, generally, right? Your eye and your nose, so you're split in half. So that's what I tend to do uh, to show the direction they're aiming at. Then I'm going to draw from the, back of the, from the back of the jaw here, drawing down that chin area. And I'm catching the outside, far side of her face. And everything I'm doing here, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, does that make sense? So I drew this line over here. That's the side of her cheek. I'm gonna look, since she's facing away from us, I'm gonna draw a line up here, like a rhythm line, to kinda, kinda capture that as well, and kinda break that down. So this is going along the side of her cheek, going over here to the brow, and I'm gonna go over here along the temple. And as I'm doing that, I'm more or less telling myself, that this is uh, the side of her face, the side of her head, basically the side of her skull, and this is the front. So when you're breaking that up, if I was to turn that into a simple polygon, like really simple, if you were to take every detail out of that, it would be like a cube or something. There's like the side of her face, Right, the side over here, and there's the front. Same right here, the side of her head. Same face, side of her head. The side of her head and the front. So at the barest bones, I'm thinking about this shape, kinda, right? And then it's like you're carving into it uh, the features of the face. Then I would go in and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go Take a look at her brow line, and I'm gonna draw across her brow line. And I might even put in a shape for the eye socket. Which look like basically glasses. These shapes I'm doing right now, I'm just following the form of the head. I'm following the form of what I know. You don't have to do it this way. You could draw the eye, that eye form right there I did. You could draw that like, you know, a square itself, right? The square for the eye socket. It's That's what I mean by these are uh, kind of up to you, right? There's many, many different choices that you can do. Whatever works for you, you should use. And I would look up what other people do to look at what might work for you because they, they've been through it, right? Or basically you can just use the ones I'm talking about. If you want me to go through that as well, I could go through a series of different shapes you can choose. If, if you want that, just be, you got to comment on that. I, I'm not going to do it if nobody comments. Um, uh, you know, maybe some, some general shapes that people tend to use. But there's only like three or four, really. Uh, I'm going to go down right here following the neck. I'm thinking of the neck as a tube. That's really what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking of the neck as, as a tube. So it's probably going to end around here. Where you can see her chest. And then now I'm going to go into looking at her shoulder and I'm looking at the drapery. You can't see the far side shoulder because this is in the way, right? Her collar. But I would draw, I can clearly see this one. Clearly see that shoulder. Uh, I'm going to have to guess on that far side shoulder and it would be a mirror image essentially, right? Uh, I mean, it is, I would say looking at her posture. It's probably up here somewhere. And this is what I mean by thinking in 3D. You're, you're really, uh, I could pull that one up a little bit. So do all these deliberately, like deliberately and, you know, think it out. Think it out. These are for yourself. These are not for... You know, uh, I'm putting, let me see, maybe, maybe the deltoid. I think the deltoid would be about here. See, I would adjust that. I think her deltoid, her, that, that upper portion, the round part of her arm would be up here. 
Uh, these are for you. These are not for people to look at. These are not for, you know, putting stuff on your Instagram or anything like that. These are for you to learn as you do this. Uh, they are fun, I'll say that. Let, let me go right here to her rib cage. So I'm gonna try to find her rib cage. Her rib cage. Okay, so here's the center of her body. I'm gonna put the center line down here. Her rib cage probably comes to about here, I wanna say. And there's a thickness to the clothing, right? It kind of like, it's loose on her. So her actual side of her body is probably in here. And I'm gonna guess on this side is probably over here. So knowing that I'm gonna, and it's and then the ribcage is gonna come up here. So I'm going to try to find the approximate a rib cage around here. That's my approximation. Yeah, maybe like right here. And you can toy with this the whole time. Uh, as you're doing this, you're learning more and more. And there will be mistakes, right? And by the way, there's also no right answers to some extent when you're looking at this big baggy. Like, let's look at her forearm. This, you can kind of tell because she's bending her arm. So you have a good idea. And, and you can see the end of her hand right here. So you have a good idea that her arm is probably in here somewhere. And I'm thinking of this arm as a tube, by the way, as a tube going away from us. But uh, look at her forearm. That's completely engulfed in, in like, you know, it's totally loose. There's really no way you're gonna see the inside of that. So you can take estimations and then, uh, so it's gonna be in here. I'm gonna say maybe her arm is in there to that point. So you can kinda, again, there's no right answers to this because we really can't see it. We can just make a, approximation. I'm going to say her elbow bends about here. And then I can see the end of her hand right here. So probably her wrist is over here. And, and this stuff goes through my head with almost every drawing. So kind of, um, but like in a, in a much short, more short form of that. See, that would say that her arm's probably right here somewhere inside that clothing. And you're training your mind to, when you do this, you're basically training your mind to see these um, aspects much uh, more clearer. And that's kind of the, this is the start to drawing completely fictional things. So I'll give you an example. Like I'm drawing these simple forms and the more these simple forms become secondhand, where I can just kind of draw them on my own, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, what's to stop me from, you know, I, I know the shape of the arm could be, you know, this, like these two tube-like structures. What's to stop me from making, uh, you know, like fantasy-wise, like another arm. So let's just draw another arm over here. And I'm starting out with those simple forms first, same way as there. And I'm like, eh, is that gonna aim down? I mean, obviously it's kind of a ridiculous example, right? It's a ridiculous example, but. This is kind of the, the, the starting to that. You're making it up, you know? Obviously, I'd have, I would change the torso and stuff. Um, or I would, like, shove that arm way up there. But that's how you start creating things that don't exist, and you make them look um, like they are in existence, right? Like they do exist. That's the start to this. Uh, okay, let's go from non-organic. Uh, let's go from organic right here to non-organic. Let's say I'm going to break up the shape of that bag. That bag is easy. Like, it's... I can tell like there's a corner. I don't know if I were to break it up into a polygon shape. It's kind of dark. I hope you can see this. It's clearly this box shape, kind of like this rounded off box. But for my own sake, I'm gonna make it a little bit more boxy. And I can tell that in this case, this side right here, hopefully, you know, this comes in on camera. Uh, this side is facing the viewer, which is us, right here, more than this side. This side is a little bit more kind of going off, going off this direction over here. Uh, I hope that concept makes sense. I would say start going through old magazines. Like old magazines you're gonna throw away. Oh, this is a weird magazine. Uh, <laughs> this is like a women's magazine. Uh, 
Anyways, I would say like, uh, let's try to pick a non-organic object, actually. Let's try to pick something non-organic, like not people to break up, like something more complicated. Eh, that's just like pasta, or no, that's not pasta. That's just like food. Let me find okay, actually, you know what? This is, or that's a good pose, but no, like let's, let's pick something that's not a person. Okay, let's pick this cat. Let us, or this dog, let me see. Dog's pretty furry. Okay, let's pick this cat. I don't know cat anatomy at all, by the way. Like zero, hardly. I know a little bit, I know like big cat anatomy, but I don't know uh, this cat. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna see if I can pull out some shapes from it. Okay, so just teach myself to draw, like, just teach myself like about form. He's obviously leaning back. So I would say his nose here. I could, I could tell kind of the way this is shaped. There's, there's this point between his eyes, but then there's a little bit of a bulge here I can tell because of his mouth. And then probably a line pulling down here. This is a little bit deeper. So I see this kind of shape happening around his nose. If I was to break that down into a smaller shape, it would be maybe like somewhat of a cone aiming upward. Let's see. The nose is kind of the tip there, pulling down. And I think there is a change of uh, direction here, plane in this area. I feel like this area of his mouth is aiming downward. I also draw lines along it to see what shape it makes. And this curls around, this upper part is a little bit more bulgy. And this is just on the fly, by the way. So like, like you can, you can do this with anything. Um, I'm gonna pull in here, his eye socket clearly around here he's leaning back so his eye socket is gonna be very uh, kind of it's gonna look thinner to us because of perspective this is wearing glasses side of his cheek is over here and that's gonna pull in to the side of the head obviously his uh, little cat chin is over here so I'm gonna draw a line across trying not to be confused by the pattern of the fur here because that's dark but I'm gonna split that area and that is gonna move a little bit downward so for example this top plane of his face is going that way right you can see it it's kind of flatter on the top and this is going inward a little bit this section of his neck so let me let me Change that part as well. I see this part is going inward. I don't know, maybe like a bottle cap or something, like it's going in a little bit, if that makes any sense. Let's get the top of his head here. And then his ears obviously are tri like smooth around triangles. Um, I think you can kind of see the ear lid over here. And then this probably, you know, I'm guessing is con concave. His ears are probably concave and this part is like convex. Same thing with his other ear. Falling down. Concave, I believe he's got to be concave, then convex. It's probably easier for somebody who, who owns a cat. Um, I mean, I do own a cat, but he's outside. He's hanging out. He shows up every now and then. Um, really cute cat. Uh, and then, and then that that I I literally just broke that down. And you can break it down as much as you want. I can say maybe there's like another little plane here on his forehead. So for anybody who doesn't know what a plane is. Uh, for example, let me draw this cube. 
A plane is essentially any flat surface, uh, you know, any flat surface direction. So with this plane, there's one plane right here. Here's two, here's three. That's three planes, right? And then we know on the back of it, there's gonna be another plane. And then on the other side as well, we just know how cubes are on the other side as well. So a cube would have like, I think, six planes, right? Um, that's essentially what a plane is, is it's kind of a change, essentially a change in, uh, change in direction of a flat surface. Uh, and usually you're dealing with tons and tons. It's just a way of simplifying it. Uh, but anyways, that's good for the cat. I mean, he, you know, he is organic, of course. We didn't get to do a non-organic object. Um, but that, that is really good. I would say this is how I teach myself to draw anything. So if uh, an art director says, hey, you got to draw this crocodile or you got to draw this um, alligator or an alligator, wow. Or, or uh, you know, this new object or new animal. Um, a good idea is to learn their anatomy, of course, but I also break them down like this because I want to learn more about how to draw them in different poses. Uh, that's when you can like really tweak them. Uh, you can emphasize certain things. You can draw them uh, with little expressions. Uh, there, there's so much you can do, but that's how I teach myself to draw everything is doing this example. I normally now, when I do this, because um, I still do this process, I do it with my computer, right? With Photoshop, I just kind of trace over it. And I'm like, okay, I see this. It's making this shape. And, and I do this purely for myself. Again, these aren't really flashy. They're not very something to, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, they're not really something to show off. Uh, so if you learn something from this, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. Also, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please comment. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Don't forget to hit up my Patreon. I am uh, kind of pri doing um, a little bit of a private tutoring kind of thing on there that I think you're going to really love. And there's a lot of goodies in the description. So go check that out as well. Again, I will talk to you guys next time.